Hi everyone, this is Clarence with Spencer's Camera. In today's video, we wanted to demonstrate the, how easy it is to color correct an image that has been captured using an Astro Modified Camera. This is one of the most frequent questions we receive, is how do you color correct uh, an image that was captured with an Astro Modified Camera, um, but especially if the custom white balance wasn't perfect. So this image was specifically selected to demonstrate that. As you can see, the custom white balance, um, there was a custom white balance set for this, and as you can see, it is not perfect. Nowhere near that. It's very magenta, and I'll sh demonstrate how easy it is to color correct for this. I'm using an image that was captured using a, a um, Canon EOS R5 Visible Plus H Alpha modified camera. Uh, we're going to edit this in Adobe Camera Raw, which is virtually the same, if not identical, to editing uh, in Lightroom, in Adobe Lightroom. So first of all, under the Basics tab, we want to select the eyedropper for white balance tool. It's noted as the white balance tool. Within the center region of the image, it's important that you select something when, when using this eyedropper for color temperature. I think you'll get a better result if you select something within this central half of the image. Uh, the reason is because you don't want any possible uh, defects of the lens, vignetting, or discolorations or anything to affect your color temperature. So it's better if you will make your selection using this eyedropper in the center region of the image. I'm going to zoom in here and find a dark spot. Right there looks really nice. Something that's not hitting any bright stars. Uh, so I'm going to click right here and that will give us a good starting point for correcting our colors. Uh, one other note as well, this image was captured, um, it's just a single exposure image. It's not anything that was tracked or stacked or anything. It's one single exposure. Uh, as you can see, ISO 6400, 28 millimeter, uh, f1.4 for 8 seconds. Um, the next step is to, we want to adjust these colors a little further. Uh, it's easier to do that if the color has been amplified so that we can see them better. So in order to do that, we're going to increase the vibrant slider and saturation sliders all the way, just so we can see those colors much better. Uh, in this image, and with most images, I feel it's important to keep the Milky Way a nice warm color and the sky behind it a cool color. There's too much green in this image and other um, oranges and uh, other colors here that we want to reduce, but without um, making the Milky Way cool or the background warm. So in, in order to do so, I'm going to bring this temperature slider down all the way in this case and then bring it back up a little bit, probably around 2100, and that's going to give us a nice cool background, a warm Milky Way, um, and it's uh, just a nice balanced uh, a balance of the coolness and warmth. Let me bring that up just a hair, um, about 2150 to make the Milky Way a little warmer. Then I need to counteract some of this green so that it doesn't look so teal as well. So I'm going to introduce magenta, which will reduce greens. Uh, basic color theory will teach you that if you want to reduce greens in an image, you introduce magenta. If you want to reduce magentas, then you introduce greens, and hence that's why Adobe has green and magenta on this slider. So in order to reduce the greens, I'm going to increase the magenta and bring that up. I don't want to kill the greens completely. Um, something about like that I think will look good. Now we can bring these sliders back down to normal. It's going to look a little washed out and pale, and a lot of that is, is an effect of us staring at all those colors uh, for so long. Now it looks very washed out and pale, but we can reset these to zero. Usually when editing a night image, I don't mess with saturation very much. It can be too heavy handed, but vibrance, you can bring out some colors nice and it actually will increase contrast a little bit. So I'll bring that just a little bit so we can see the colors a little better. The next step is to click on the curves tab. And then within the curves tab, I, um, Pay attention to the histogram up here on the top. When we move our cursor across, there are different segments that are highlighted. We have the blacks, shadows, what they reference as exposure here, which kind of the midtones, highlights, and whites. So what we want to do is move most of this data on the curve 
over here into the shadows to clean things up and also to correct some of these colors. So in, or in order to do that, we're going to select the red channel here in the curve. I'm going to click in the center of this line, and then I'm going to drag this down in a low right hand 45 degree angle as if we're coming clear to this bottom corner. We're not going to get anywhere near that far, but what, what we'll do is click on that center point. We're going to drag this down until you can see up here the red part portion or the red channel in the histogram is now moved over to the left hand edge of this shadow section. Not into the blacks, but into the shadows. I may come that up just a little bit with that like that so that it stays within this shadow area we're gonna now you can see the image is very green so we're going to click on the green and do the same here but we're going to match that green histogram data right up to the red try to mate it up to the red as closely as we can so just keep pulling that down until it lines up just like that and you can see the image is too blue so we're going to reduce the blues by clicking in the center again and dragging down. The only difference here with the blues is we don't want to make that up perfectly. We want to keep it just slightly to the right, like that. If you can see behind there, the blue curve or data is slightly on the right-hand side of the red and green data, and it's protruding here as well. That tends to give a more natural look to the human eye. So the background has a little blue hint, um, and it just is a little more pleasing, I have found. Um, at that point, that's pretty much it. Uh, your color should look very natural, as this image does. Um, it should be balanced. If not, then maybe something else, uh, something you did in the beginning is slightly off, and you can go back. You could reset your curve, go back to basics, to the basic tab, and review your settings there. Um, but you should come with, to something that is very pleasing and natural, a, very, a warm Milky Way core and a cool background, not overly contrasted, and it should be um, a good starting point now to do the remainder um, of your edits. Uh, this is only the beginning steps, of course, and there's much more to do from here, but this is a good step in the right direction um, to getting your colors very accurate and very natural looking. Um, this is the same kind of techniques of many that we teach in our workshops and our online classes. Uh, and um, if you have any questions regarding our workshops or online classes, you can contact us by email at info at spencerscamera.com or by telephone at 801-367-7569. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.